All right, I got some guys that were asking me about uh, if you have check engine lights, stuff like that. Um, so here I'm in the Insight. I'm already uh, connected to the ECM. So all you gotta do, go up here to your fault codes. And it'll bring up a list of your fault codes. I already went through and uh, took care of these, but I'll just show you a few couple easy things to look into. Um, this one here is actually a C and G, but we'll just show you, you know, pick any code here, like here's spark plug, misfire. If you double click on it, after it goes through loading, it'll actually pull up a basic on how to go through and check. It's got the wiring there for you, everything else, um, but it'll tell you description, you know, where the location of the part would be. And then it even gives you, um, you know, things to look for here in Shop Talk, what to look for, so on and so forth. Um, then underneath that, you can click right on troubleshooting, and that'll pull up the next thing here, and it'll go right through troubleshooting that code um, that was up on your uh, uh, check engine light at the time. Real simple to go through. Just as you go through, start at number one and just go through. And, you know, if anything that you're testing in the troubleshooting here fails, that's nine times out of ten. <clears throat> nine times out of ten, that ends up being your problem. Very simple to go through, to go through and uh, check all of that. And uh, once you're done with it, you just back out of it and you're still connected to the truck. So you can move on to your next code. You can click into that. And then go through all that um, and like I said then once you're done everything goes inactive up here on the top you go to your reset and then you can go ahead and reset all the faults after you make repairs on it and they all go inactive just follow the prompts on the screen it'll tell you um, what to do and like I said very very simple to use then after you go through all that, reset all your fault codes so there's no codes in the ECM. You can always double check to make sure that there is not a calibration update for that current ECM that you're in, which should pop up in the menu as soon as you uh, connect to the ECM. Sometimes it doesn't, not very often. Um, and then after that, take your truck out for a road test. Make sure you verify the repair, and then you should be able to. Uh, then you should be able to uh, park it back in the yard so it's ready for use for the next day. Um, very simple. If you guys have any questions on it, or if you'd like me to go into depth on anything in particular, feel free to uh, message me, comment, whichever way you'd like to go. Hope I can help somebody with this. Thanks for watching, guys.